Hey everyone, welcome back to another video with Ricky the RBT. Today's focus is the conceptually systematic dimension of ABA. So let's jump right in by trying to connect the dots a little bit. So we've spoken about the analytic and technological dimensions of ABA. The analytic dimension focuses on behavior analysts making informed decisions on the future of interventions based on the data. And the technological dimension ensures that the instructions for implementing the intervention are clearly defined. Now we're focusing on the conceptually systematic dimension and how this is defined. It's assuring that the intervention that we're implementing is research-based and empirically validated. Research and applied behavior analysis has deemed this intervention effective, and that is the reason why we're utilizing it. Now, research related to this particular intervention is referenced back to a basic principle of ABA. That basic principle can be stimulus control, it can be positive reinforcement, extinction, shaping, so on and so on. And so the intervention that we're utilizing is not just something that we're pulling out of thin air. It is a branch of a conceptual system of basic principles as opposed to, as Barry and his colleagues put it in 1968, a collection of tricks. So that is the conceptually systematic dimension of ABA, everyone. Comment below with additional information about this dimension. Next video, we will be combining the applied and behavioral dimensions into one video, and that will complete the seven dimensions of ABA series. Also, I will be pitching an idea for a new series, so make sure you tune into the next video so you can hear about it and provide me with some feedback. Catch you all next time. I'm out. Peace.